Hello my dear student, how are you? This is Tawfiqul Islam, lecturer in English, Juranpur Amu AM. Welcome to DK Online School. Today I will discuss on gap filling. Basically, the student of class 9 and 10 get this question. In gap filling you will get 10 marks. One is with clue, another is without clue. For answering this question, you have to know parts of speech. So, you know, noun is a kind of parts of speech. So, we all know about noun. In my previous class, I discussed on noun. But today, I will discuss on the uses of noun. How can we use noun in gap filling? So, please listen to my class. We basically use noun as a subject. Noun is an object. We use noun after Possessive pronoun. We also, we sometimes also use uh, noun after. Adjective. Okay. Uh, at first, I have to give you an example. How can we use noun as a subject? Dash has created the word. So here we can uh, ask question. Who has created the word? So we know uh, the creator of the word is Allah. This is the appropriate answer. Allah has created the word because. Man or animal or anything can't create the world because they have no ability to decorate or make the world. So Allah, this is the appropriate answer. So now as an object, we will give another example. Please look at me. My teacher gives me So, what do we use in these gaps? So, if we give punishment,
it will be the right answer because here gives his principal verb and me and punishment two object are used for fulfilling the answer uh, fulfilling the sentence so punishment we use punishment as a noun in this sentence as an object okay uh in the third role we will see after processing the noun we use now that is his father is a teacher so here my father is a teacher so here we get my is a possessive pronoun and after possessive pronoun we use father as a noun so for fulfilling the sentence we use noun we use noun after possessive pronoun here my is a possessive pronoun and we will show for after adjective we use noun because adjective basically modify noun or pronoun so this Here we get attentive. He is attentive student. He is an attentive student. Okay. If we get student, this is now and before. now we use adjective attentive <clears throat> so for full feeling the sentence uh, we use student after attentive because attentive is an uh, adjective and student is noun so basically we use basically we use noun after adjective for modifying this noun so today i will learn about the some roles of uses of noun so i hope my dear student uh, you all be attentive in your online class and be studious thank you